Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. Uh, just a quick little note here that will probably end up being like 20 minutes long because that's the way it always works with whenever I do one of these videos. I just go on a tear. I wanted to make note of the uh, astronomical things that have been going on and uh, some a uh, couple more that are going to be coming up later this year. Um, certainly we had uh, one of the closest flybys in recorded history of an asteroid that uh, came within 17,000 miles of the Earth on Friday. We had the um, huge uh, meteor exploding over the city of Chelyabinsk in Russia and uh, several other uh, fireballs that were seen on uh, both Thursday night and Friday as well. And um, I wanted to make note that in light of these events, uh, Congress had uh, scheduled a hearing to discuss ways of dealing with near-Earth objects in light of the um, possible calamity that could happen in relation to something coming from space. Um, I'll have more to say about that in a moment. Um, <clears throat> But the thing that I wanted to point out that I think is uh, most vitally important here for everybody to keep in mind over the coming year, because later on in the year when Iceland comes back, the comet is supposed to be brighter than the moon when it's at its closest approach to the sun. And there's another comet that's going to be coming by this year as well. So this is going to be quite spectacular. But I imagine and I think that this is going to be uh, a major meme throughout 2013, and that is the end times hysteria once again is going to be flying through the entire, you know, zeitgeist, if you want to call it that. And uh, I imagine that we're going to hear a lot of fucking bullshit from various uh uh, Christians and other um, denominations and faiths around the world talking about all of this stuff in concert with the end times, the coming Armageddon, the judgment, the uh, final judgment of humanity. And of course, all of this is going to be rolled up into uh, some of this right-wing lunatic hysteria that we already have with... Um, Many people being boiled up into a frenzy about various different issues that are being thrown out there to pull everybody's eyes away from very real, very important, very uh, major things that are going on in this country and around the world. And I want to point out a couple things about that. Uh, one being HSBC the Hong, uh, Hong Kong Shanghai Bank uh, Corporation, which uh, recently uh, received a slap on the wrist fine after being found guilty of massive money laundering with direct actual uh, connection to very dangerous drug lords and drug cartels. Uh, not a single person held accountable, the bank not held accountable. And uh, the coming uh, of the massive sequestration cuts across the board in this country, which I think uh, the uh, lunatics are going to shield the military from, and all of that will be pushed upon the uh, all of the social safety net programs and the massive new cuts to Medicare and Social Security and other things that are going to be happening here in uh, in the coming months. And, and I think that March is probably going to be the most significant time for this, so watch out for that. Now, all of this hysteria is going to uh, certainly be well played by the powers that be in order to foment the kind of action and the kind of things within the public arena that they want to achieve and that is to hide their shenanigans. The banks continue to prey upon everybody. Multinational corporations continue to prey on the entire world and everybody has to pay the price for this. This is not the end times. We're not going to see Armageddon. The world is not going to end. There's not going to be a giant uh, catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions. This is all a bunch of hooey nonsense and garbage. But, but, there is no doubt that if it will benefit 
the masters of the universe, to use this kind of hysteria to bring about massive social change, then you can fucking bet your bottom fucking dollar that it will be done. And they will use it, and they will foment it, and they will make it seem as though it's something that's going to happen, and it's a real thing, and it's waiting right around the fucking corner. So I want everybody to please be on the guard for that, because if that happens, it's going to get a lot of people into an uproar. So now back to the idea of Congress. Uh, having a hearing about possible calamity from space. Well, isn't it funny that when you have a meteor explode over Russia and you have a near miss 17,000 miles away from an asteroid on Friday, suddenly Congress can have a hearing almost immediately scheduled. But they can't have a hearing about anything else or come to agreement on any motherfucking thing else. They can't decide on nothing. I know, that's poor grammar. Sorry. They can't decide on anything. But they damn sure can jump on the giant bandwagon of end times paranoia. I'm not saying that there aren't real <laughs> threats that could come from space. And certainly Russia is a good example of this with that exploding meteor over there. Nobody saw it coming, according to everybody that's reported on it. And can we believe them? I don't know. I don't believe anything NASA says, that's for sure. Can we believe the Russians when they say they didn't see this coming? I don't know. Uh, the point is that there are real dangers from space. No question about it. And we could get hit by anything. But you know what? If that happens, there's virtually little that we can do about it unless the secret space program and the high energy physics weapons that they have at their disposal come into play in order to save the earth and that's a good question as to whether that's going to happen but as far as anything else happening here in the down to earth everyday reality of life that we're living right now the train is going to keep chugging along and we are going to be subjected to a massive, massive, destructive impetus in this country with the coming austerity. And with the banks now holding themselves over the country as too big to fail, too big to jail, and not only that, but having not even to provide a fucking scapegoat that can take the blame. No, they don't even have to do that. And in addition to this, they continue to pay out immense bonuses to the very people who were in league with the Sinaloa drug cartel and had an actual, this is HSBC, had an actual department of their bank that was in charge of covering up and laundering money. And they're still in business they're still paying their CEOs and executives massive amounts of money. They're still robbing people. They still have not been held to account for their massive uh, mortgage fraud and everything else to do with that. And uh, now we have the doom from outer space about to come down on us. Just another thing to add to the gr growing heap of things that can be used by the powers that be to turn your attention away from very real things that are happening here and now. You know what? We could get hit by an asteroid tomorrow that wipes us out. Yes, that's absolutely true. But you know what? I'm not going to fucking worry about it because there isn't a goddamn thing I can do about it. That's why I'm going to try to stay focused on what are real, actual things that are happening that are going to absolutely guaranteed to lead to death and misery for people on the earth now. So beware the end times hysteria for 2013. And remember that there are very real things that are happening here besides the hypothetical that we need to stay focused on. So... I called it. 
End Times Hysteria for 2013. Mark it. Thank you. Good night.